This week the bus comes alive. Our off-grid electrical system is hooked up and turned on. We also finished plumbing up the fresh water and installed the washing machine. We got lights in the bus, and then the next day or two, we should have power to those lights, eh, babe? Yes, right. Yeah. So this is Nico. He's helping us out with our wiring for our bus Ooh. today. So thanks, guys. <laughs> we get some welcome help wiring up the bus. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. We're gonna have that here. Yep. We're gonna have the AC here, and, and then the DC. That's it. I think that would be absolutely perfect, wouldn't it? So now you're running conduit? Yep. It's the new word for the day. Conduit. <laughs> conduit. Everything's in conduit. Our four 315 watt solar panels are charging four 200 amp hour deep cycle gel batteries configured as a 48 volt battery bank. We run our lights, water pump, hot water heater and sensors on 12 volt and the biggest stuff on 230 volt like a normal house using an inverter. One down, three to go. What's your concern? Uh, once we've done it, how to... Um brace it all properly. Oh, yeah. Probably have to weld something up and do it really well. Yeah. <laughs> we have a hybrid inverter which combines the inverter with a solar MPPT charger controller and a battery charger all in one unit. We can also plug this thing straight into a generator or the grid if we need to. Yes, yeah, so we're getting some real pro help today to hook up our solar system. So we can easily bring this in there. And then coming from the inverter bottom? From the inverter, we're going straight down the side and then it comes in here. Okay, so one on yeah. the side and two at the top. Yeah. How are we looking, Nico? We're looking good. Oh, yeah? Wow. <laughs> it's a whole different league than the old man, huh, babe? It's a whole different league. We keep it safe. Safe. And organized. I like that. I like organization. <laughs> yeah. At this point in time, you have your rails on it, and and then it just earth it properly. So the bus is live. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's working. It's going on the undergoing through a bit of testing, but everything seems to be done fine so far. And now, bathroom is off. kitchen but yeah this telling you like the voltage on the panel which still pr I mean it's died but still Hold still on. producing 56 um, yeah well it's gray and cloudy today but we're still pulling in power oh, it's pretty cool is that the inverter making that noise yeah. the fan yeah I'm so glad we don't have that under the bed <laughs> I know that would have been a bit that actually would have been so annoying. Yeah, it would have been a fuck up, eh? Yeah. yeah. We're gonna try and install all our sensors today. Yeah, you're good. We have lights in the bus. We finally put the lights in. These wires we put in, what, months ago? <laughs> yeah, two I'm months ago. This 
So they're on, they're on switches, on dimmers. Ooh. Plus we put this funky light in. Oh yeah. There you go. Move it around. It's pretty cool at night. Yeah. Got some plugs. Run on AC. So we've got an AC system and we've got a DC system. So the lights are on the DC, the plugs are all on AC. The bathroom ones. So this is where we've got all our sensors for our tanks. This is for our grey water. We've got one for our fresh water. And this is the control panel for our hot water. Cool. Yeah. So we got a hand with the electrical by Nico. Oh yeah, thanks Nico, you're very amazing. Yeah, he's champion. Helped us out big time. So if you need a hand with your bus, he loves doing these projects, so. Nico's cool. your man. <laughs> So this is our power station. <laughs> yes. This is where we have our batteries. We've got four batteries and it's hooked up into a 48 volt system. Then we've got our main breaker. So it's for our batteries, for our solar panels. Then we've got our converter that converts 48 down to 12. And these are our breakers for our DC. And down here, this is all with our 12 volt system. So it runs our pump, our water sensor, our hot water, and then our other sensors, lights, bits and pieces. Okay, so this is our inverter. This is a hybrid inverter, so it's got our solar controller built in. And then it runs through our switchboard here for our AC, all through conduit and up to different plugs in the bus. Fantastic. So why are we running both AC and DC? Because we want to have a fridge and <laughs> other normal appliances in our bus. Okay. Yeah. We're keen on finishing projects now and focus our attention on the bathroom. A small room but with a lot of details. These two units was never intended for each other. This is a $30 marketplace find that we refurbished and then, yeah. Another marketplace find on top. That looks amazing. <laughs> I can't get through it. Okay, hold up, I'm laying that there. Lift, push it up. Push it up. Step up. Oh fuck! Oh, oh I do not have that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Test running. The washer for the first time. Oh yeah, that's nice and smooth. Perfect. <laughs> it's working! It's working! It's working! It's working! It's so exciting.
plumbing. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> <laughs> We finish all the freshwater plumbing this week too. With just a few loose ends to tie up for grey water, it's another big milestone in the build. We're plumbing up our kitchen sink today. Mm <laughs> I'm ready. Are you? No, but don't turn around yet. No. Nah. That's nice. Yeah. Let's shower. I have a water leak in the shower. Shower leaking. Okay, so. Where is it dripping from? Oh, I see it. Turn it off. Seem like it's sitting right at all. See? No, it's not sitting right. It's crooked. And it's a different. Oh yeah, it's plastic instead of. So there's been a shortage of these uh, push fit fittings in Christchurch, and we've bought pretty much all of the ones that there is. And this was a different brand, a different type of uh, fitting, and uh, yeah, everything else held beautifully, and this one leaked out. Same part, but better part. So, no more leaks. That was it. The shitty plumbing part was the problem. We have replaced it and now uh, no leaks. So, yeah. In between all the big projects, there seems to be a million other things that also need to get done. Pretty comfy. I need a cushion back here though. I'll make that next. And I'm not a sewing queen by any stretch, but this is my first ever zipper project. pretty pleased with that. I think these cushions came out good. No coffee. It's all that matters. Yeah, so I just wanted to make the engine box a little quieter when we drive but also a usable space for us. So now it's a lounge seat. Works for me. Everything took much longer than you think and we're starting to feel a bit antsy now that summer is approaching. We really want to get on the road soon. 
So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. We're just uh, chugging along, trying to finish this bus up, and we really appreciate all the support. Exactly, and if you like these videos, give us a thumbs up, and remember, subscribe. Yes, we put all our social media information in the footer, so just uh, follow us along there. Thanks, guys. See you.